Okay, let's get this thing started, shall we? Welcome to this channel. Uh, my name is Emil. Um, I'm from London. Currently a uni student. That's taking up most of my time. Um, I like filmmaking. Um, I like graphic designing. I like pretty much every creative thing there is in the book. And what you're watching right now is a vlog. Now, what is a vlog? It's a video blog. You know, I've never really had the balls to do it. And I just want to do it now. And it's, it's just time. The time is now. If you want to do something, go do it. Because it's not worth sitting on it or sleeping on it. You know, the reason I'm doing this, because I'm 100% sure there's people watching who are like, why? Why are you doing this? Isn't this like super personal and like weird? Like you're going to have to hold the camera up like this in public and shit. Well, yeah, that's something I have to get over. Because that's, that's the price I have to pay or the sacrifice I have to make to document stuff and do something I want to do something I enjoy, actually. I do enjoy this. Like what I'm doing right now, I love talking. Talking is like my favorite thing. And um, let's just see how far this goes. Not even how far this goes. I just want to do it. It's not about how far it goes. I just, just want to do it. See what happens. You know. So let's just get let's just get on with the day, shall we? Oh, and also, um, it's very, very, very dark in my house. Don't know why. Just don't ask. Um, so I'm gonna have to like stand right next to windows and potentially get some lighting up in this heezy for sheezy. You're gonna be hearing like. <sniffs> Like quite often, but I'm gonna try not doing that when I'm like filming. But yeah, you're gonna be hearing a lot of that, so very sorry about it. I get sick. I don't get sick all the time, but it's just it's quite regular for me. But like, it's not crazy sickness. It's just like you know the watery sickness, I guess. All right, we're currently waiting at a bus stop. Um, I'm on my way to Stratford. Um, two years ago, no one would really know what Stratford is, but now that's Sidemen territory, so. It's the first time I'm vlogging outside, by the way, so this is quite exciting. Okay. Okay, we've arrived at the room. Hopefully this room's fine. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, just got to uni. I'm going to read a few books that's in my bag because I needed to come to a quiet space to do some work. Um, going to wait for my friend up until like 3 o'clock, hopefully. hopefully, And then we're going to go eat somewhere, some uh, noodle shop or something. And let's hope that goes well. Um, so far, so good. I'm getting some shots, but I just need to get a bit more confident in front of people. Come on, mate. Do it, son. Come on. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but the London Eye is right there. And... You can see like Pimlico and things right there. If we go around here, you can just see some crazy ass buildings, as you can see. Um, and then the other side, I can't really go to it, but this is quite a nice view, isn't it? It's quite a nice view. I'm gonna try getting to the other side of this building so that I can show you the shot, because the view from this, this building is pretty cool, so follow me. Okay, I thought there was someone in here, but apparently not. Um, I don't know if you can see the shard, it's probably burnt out. Oh my god, it's burnt out. Give me two seconds. I don't know if you can see that, but the shard is like right there. Let me try zooming in on that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yep, there it is. That's the shard. Um, pretty much London, pretty much. Though so you can see some buildings over there. Pretty sure that's Stratford. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, and then you've got this gigantic roundabout right here, which is... It's just crazy. I really like this building. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to the room because I'm quite scared and there's no one here, so might as well go back. So I thought I might answer like a few questions that might be bubbling away in your mind. Um, what do I study? I study film and television. Where do I live? Uh, I live in London. I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. What camera do I use? The Canon 70D. I really wanted to get another time lapse, but there's someone in that room, so I can't really go there. So I guess we're gonna just have to get another one of this. You can't really see it because it's burnt out. Don't know why I showed you it, because it's burnt out. Um, but one thing I do want to talk about is I have a really mixed opinion on university. Actually, you know what? I need to sit down for this. I 
talk about university, I still have really, really mixed opinions on university. Because before I used to be a big, big admirer of university, thinking, um, you know, if I go uni, if I get a degree, I'm gonna have a great career in front of me and see what happens. But now, as I get older, as I actually go through the university process, and it's quite ironic since I'm sitting in uni and talking about this, because this is a great facility I have, as you can see, like this entire room to myself. Um, you know, you, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure about it anymore because sometimes I feel like the system, the education system is quite flawed. Like, it doesn't really maximize the potential of youth. Like, even after getting the degree, you do have to go do shit by yourself. And that's, that's, that's a given, like, you have to go do it yourself. That's a given, like, you have to do it. But I feel like you don't really need university to get where you want to be anymore, which is, which is interesting. Especially because I am a uni student, so, I should be the biggest advocate of uni, but it's it's a it's a tough it's a tough topic. It's a very debatable topic, like whether you need uni or you don't need uni. Because there's many people, as you know, who didn't go to university and probably most successful people in the world, but there's very few. But then there's that question, if you go to uni, there's a bigger pool of things you could do with a degree. Um, I think it all just boils down to hard work. Hard work is the key to get where you want to be. Yeah, that's a sick title. Hard work is the key to get where you want to be. Yo, this vlogging thing's going great. Without hard work, you can't really, really get much, you know? Like, I think hard work trumps talent. I think that's my, that's my motto. Hard work definitely trumps talent. And if you think you can't do something, just know if you work harder and faster. Actually, I don't know about faster, but if you work harder, have patience. It will come to you, but you have to work hard. You have to work hard to play hard. Now that's a bad quote. That's that's not really a good quote. Money is not the the money shouldn't be your objective. Money is numbers are endless. Money is endless. Which let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Hold on. Let me rephrase that. So basically, what I meant was um, money is numbers, and numbers never end. And if you're chasing happiness in money, that means your happiness will never end. Because once you get a million, you want two million. Once you want to get two million, you got three million, etc., etc. Money never ends, which means your happiness will never find a place to settle. Um, so don't put your uh, put your happiness in money. Put it in something else: family, friends. Uh, I don't know your favorite hobby, football. Mine is like I get really happy over football. I'm very religious, and that's where my happiness is. I I would like to say. But, you know, that's that's just how it is. That's just how it is. And don't put your happiness in money. That's basically what my what I'm trying to say here. How much was that? How much is it actually? Eight. Eight out of ten, yeah? I got the barbecue chicken. Yeah. Chicken soy sauce. No, chi was it? Soy sauce chicken. Soy sauce chicken. Yeah. If you ever want to come here, it's right next to um, Leicester Square. Damn. Right there. Yeah. You know that feeling when you just get home and for the past two hours you're on public transport sitting quite close to a lot of people and you realize your fly was open the entire time? <sighs> what a great way to end this vlog. Thanks for watching!